Okay, so this video is how to get your Electro Spinning and Cybernetic Specialist all in one go, along with a perfect stealth, no kills rank on this mission, back up and back down. The problem with this mission is there are prisoner, prisoners, there's prisoners all over the place running away, and you have to chase down armored vehicles and at least take one of them out. So yeah, this mission can be tricky. However, in order to do that, very easily, we are going to bring along our EMN mines. The ones that literally shock vehicles and stop them in their tracks. And they also help out by take in, a, in an unexpected way, really. And you'll see once you get to that point in the video. Okay, so now that we're here, you can actually see the cybernetic specialist right there. That is him right there. Now, he, it didn't say cybernetic specialist when I scanned him because I already have him. So they just gave me a random soldier with a random specialty. Now, you can bring a vehicle along, and I highly suggest you do so that you can get to where you need to go faster. And you need to rush over to this guy because there are four soldiers chasing him down. Well, they're walking in his general direction. And if you take too long, they will actually catch up to him and eliminate him, and then you have to restart the mission all over again. However, because we can literally land right next to him, almost, you can just run over to him, especially once you get the running upgrade on your bionic arm. You can actually get there and leave before the soldiers even know you're there. And here he is. So as you can see, he is trying to get, run away for all his life while being chased by those guys. He eventually goes down to exhaustion, but not this time. We save him. He is extremely happy to leave because of those little yells I just heard. And we can now leave. And now we are going to set up an ambush for the Electro Spinning Specialist, which hasn't appeared on the map yet. He actually appears in a four-wheeled vehicle that appears as the, I believe, fourth spawn of vehicles on this map. So that means you have to either wait for three other vehicles to leave the map, or take one now and two others have to leave. Now, right there on top of our jeep is going to be another prisoner, as you can see. She actually is right on the riverbed, right up riverbed that's right to our right, but she is really nothing special. She doesn't have any special abilities or anything, so you're in no rush to get her out. Now, because I already also got her out, they gave me a gunsmithing shotgun specialist, which is useful because I don't think I had one. But anyway. Now, on our way to the location where we are going to ambush both an armored vehicle and the four-wheel drive carrying the last specialist, we are going to try and avoid all the armored vehicles and outposts in our way. Now, luckily we did this fast enough, so we are ahead of the armored vehicle. So if we wanted to, we could ambush this one as well and take it down for a little extra money, but it's not really necessary. Now right here on the riverbed is another specialist. Now the first time, if you have not extracted this guy and completed the mission, he will be a surgeon specialist. So if, you can, if you're missing somebody, you can grab him. I don't know why you were missing a surgeon, they're all over the place, but you might as well get this guy out. He is great for combat and something else. So if we hadn't stopped by to save that guy, we could have actually ambushed this armor vehicle on the bridge right here with one of our EMM mines. However, we are just going to wait for that thing to go by, turn off our lights just in case. Okay, so this is the road that the armored vehicle we are going to take out, if we hadn't had a chance to take that one out, is going to go down. And this other road across this bridge is where the four-wheel drive is going to go. And right up here on this hill, right here, is a landing zone for the chopper. So as you can see, we are right in the perfect area to do pretty much everything we want to do. So we're just going to park our car there so it's safe and out of the way and nobody sees it and blows it up. And we are going to start laying our mines. Now, four-wheel drive vehicles can be a little tricky because they can only take up half of the road and they can miss hitting one of your mines. However, doing it that way, so that either a little bit of a step and on both sides, will help you get them. And then this lit road is where we're going to ambush the vehicle. However, you need to be careful because even though they are 
literally neutralized, the turret itself can still spin and can still spot you. So if you're not careful and you approach standing up or running, they will spot you and out the door goes the bonus. But anyway, we are here. All we gotta do now is wait for about three more minutes and the and actually both vehicles will spawn and come in the direction. However, they are not, uh, let's see, they are not neutralized for longer than 10 seconds. So the good thing is they don't get here at the exact same time. So we're just gonna wait and wait for them to come in. And here he comes. As you can see, the turret still turns around. Just making sure it doesn't turn around and face us. So all we gotta do now, get this thing on our side. And we're done with that one. We might as well pick up this mine while we're ready. And now we're gonna run all the way over here and be ready for the four wheel drive that spawned. And here he comes, right on time. So I was telling you there's a little secret to using these EMM mines to, to take over vehicles, especially small ones. So you're about to see what I mean exactly. So there they go, they don't see them, and... There you go. Not only did we neutralize the vehicle, we also stunned both the driver and the passenger without harming our prisoner here. And this guy is your electro spinning specialist. All you need to do now is extract him. And you're literally done with this mission. Anything other than this, you can do for extra money, extra vehicles, soldiers, whatever you wish. Just remember that it's not my fault if you get spotted and completely have to start over again. So I'm okay, so what we're going to do now is wait for the timer to run out. That is four and a half minutes. And we will leave and we will have everybody. <laughs> 